embarrassing rebuke by a Congress opposed to his immigration agenda. Senator Tom Tillis, our North Carolina, on Monday night said he would join Republican Sens. Lisa Murkowski of Alaska and Susan Collins of Maine, along with 47 Senate Democrats to block Trump's attempts to secure billions for his border wall after lawmakers effectively stiffed him. Now just one more GOP senator's support for a resolution to block Trump's bid would send a measure to Trump's desk and force a veto. Conservatives rightfully cried foul when President Barack Obama used executive action to completely bypass Congress, Tillis said in a Washington Post op-ed on Monday night. There is no intellectual honesty in now turning around and arguing that there's an imaginary asterisk attached to executive overreach, that it's acceptable for my party, but not thy part. Still, there is clear reluctance in the GOP to bucking Trump. Numerous Senate Republicans say that, like Tillis, they despise Trump's decision to declare a national emergency to get additional funding for his wall. But most aren't ready to say they will vote to block him from doing so. Interviews on Monday with more than a dozen GOP senators who have been publicly critical of Trump's unilateral maneuver or warned him not to deploy it were cagey about their intentions for what would be a crucial vote in coming weeks on the Senate floor. Many said they were undecided and still studying Trump's move to circumvent Congress and score billions more for the border barrier. That suggests the resolution to block him remains just short of the simple majority needed for passage. It's unnecessary, unwise and inconsistent with the Constitution, said Senator Lamar Alexander, R. Tennessee, one of the most vocal critics of Trump's emergency declaration. As to how he will vote, he said, I'm going to wait to see what the resolution says.